This is a video tutorial for this really cute puff motif. I have designed the motif for, it was originally for a pair of mitts. And these are the mitts and I designed them for Simply Crochet magazine a couple of years ago, maybe last year. Um, anyway, I love them. They were called Night Flower Mitts because this, um, these were supposed to look like flowers in the dark blue. And I really like it, although the dark blue isn't coming up as really, really dark blue on screen. But so they were the mitts that I designed a couple of years ago and um, I decided to make another pair in a prettier colour palette. So this is the colour pa palette that I've chosen and this is the first glove. I think that these are sort of more my kind of style. I do wear those other ones actually for dog walking, but I quite like the colours of these ones. I quite like the flower in the middle. I quite like it all being the same colour. I had originally made the square with just the pink and the white, and then I added in the copper colour because I just think it looks delicious in this colourway. So, the free pattern for the mitts is going to be available on my blog today, as will the written pattern in both UK and US terminology. They will be available and the link will be below this video. But this is just a short tutorial to show you how to make the actual motif. So I am using fingering weight yarn and a four millimeter hook and we're going to start let me move all that out of the way because it's a bit messy we're going to start with a magic loop which I don't normally do but I quite like the center of the motif to be closed completely and if I want the center to be closed close completely then I, I always do a magic loop and the way that I do a magic loop there are loads of video tutorials for it um, this is just the way that I do it I cross the yarn over my fingers like that and and then I begin so I begin by chaining three which counts as my first treble and that is a double if you are in the US oops and then you have to make sure that your thread you're working over both threads okay so now I am working 11 more trebles and that's doubles if you're in the US into this loop this magic loop which I know I didn't explain very well but I'm pretty sure if you don't already know how to do a magic loop then you can just do a search for it on YouTube and there are hundreds of videos I think that I probably tend to do it in a pretty ridiculous way I I crochet in a ridiculous way and I don't really mind so um <laughs> But I'm aware that there are people out there who do a really good job of explaining how to do a magic loop. And I don't. I will admit to that. Maybe it's something I can work on. So we're doing uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. One more. I'm sorry, I was talking and not counting. Which is not great, is it? Okay. So... This is what we've got so far, and then we pull our loop shut, like so. It is like magic, isn't it? I, do, I can see why it's called the magic loop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
and then you want to join into the top of the beginning chain three and that beginning chain three is essentially your first stitch. So we're going to work our first puff into this exactly the same space that you've just joined to. I would call it a stitch but it's not really a stitch, it's the top of a chain three. So it is a little bit, it's a little tiny bit fiddly this one but this is the only one that is fiddly. So to do the loop you just pull up Pull up your yarn ever so slightly, wrap your yarn round your hook and put it into the loop and pull up a loop. And you do that six times. Two. Three. And this one, like I say, is fiddly because it isn't really a stitch. And you end up with a whole load of loops on your hook. And when you've done that six times, you just put your yarn round and pull it through all of them. And that creates your first puff. And then you just chain one to secure it at the top. And then you do the same thing into the next stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, and yarn round and pull it through all of them. Sometimes it needs a little wiggle. Okay, and then you've got your second one. And you work one of those puffs into each of the stitches all the way round. So when you get to the end, just double check that you've got 12 puff stitches and you should have something that looks like that and then you just join into the top of the beginning puff and you snip off your yarn. You can of course do this square all in one colour and if you're doing that then obviously don't snip off your yarn. On with the tutorial. So if you are changing colour just join your new colour into any of the chain one loops in between the puffs and join in your yarn however you do that. I'm going to go completely under the stitch. Okay, so it's in the space really rather than in the stitch, if you know what I mean. So join your yarn however you do, and then in that first space, work to double crochet. They are single crochets if you are in the US. And then on top of the puff, work to Oops, double crochets. Okay, and then you continue like that all the way around. So in between a puff, you work two doubles. And on top of a puff, you work two doubles. And you do that all the way around. So you've worked two double crochets into each stitch and each space 
and when you get to the end just double check that you've got 48 stitches and join with a slip stitch to the beginning double crochet okay I'm changing yarn again because I've got three colors in mine and we're just going to join our next color into any stitch and chain three okay and then we work a treble into the next stitch So that chain three counts as your first treble and this counts as your second. And then you're going to work two half trebles Okay, so you've got two trebles, which are two doubles if you're in the US and two half trebles, which are two half doubles if you're in the US. And um, isn't that whole UK, US terminology quite confusing? Why, do, why does it have to be different? We have got three double crochet coming next. One, two, three. And you've guessed it, they are single crochets if you are in the US. Okay, and then we have got two half trebles it's always a bit tricky when you're going over the slip stitch and then two trebles and if you like you can work over your yarn end which makes it easier at the end and then we're going to work our first corner. So this is effectively one side of the square and then the corners are made by working three double trebles, which I think are called trebles in the US, three double trebles into the next stitch. So all three, oh no, that's a treble, all three double trebles into that one stitch, okay? And that creates your corner. And then we carry on working around with two trebles. Oh, but not your yarn end. Two trebles, two half trebles. three DC okay so you've created a little square here two half trebles two trebles two half trebles, two trebles, and then three double trebles into the next stitch. Okay, and then repeat that for the other two sides. And you get to your last stitch and your last stitch is your corner three double trebles. And 
that's it. Join with the top of the beginning chain three and you have created a beautiful puff square. If you want to make your center tight, you just grab the end and pull it and it tightens up the center. And that's all you do. Sew in the ends and join them using a crochet join, which essentially means you're just matching stitch for stitch. And you can create whatever you want with them. I hope that was useful. Thanks for watching. Bye.